In this video, we are going to solve this logarithm question. We say, how do we simplify these type of logarithmic expressions? The first one, log x to the power of 9 to base x. But I'm going to apply this log that says log b to the power of n to base a is n log b to base a. If I apply this log, when this is our question, that means we have 9 log s to base s. Now we know that log a to base a, for example, is 1. The logarithm of a number to the same base is 1. That means log s to base s is 1. I have 9 times 1, which is 1. That is that for question 1. Question 2, log 8 to base 4 plus log 32 to base 4 minus log 2 to base 4. I want to express these two logarithms here in terms of 2 to base 4 also. Two, uh, 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. And to base 4 plus log 32 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 5. And to base 4 minus log 2 to base 4. If I apply this first law that I talked about here, log b to power n to base a is n log b to base a. If I apply it here and here, I have 3 log 2 to base 4 plus 5 log 2 to base 4 minus log 2 to base 4. Since everything is log 2 to base 4, we can perform this operation of addition and subtraction. So 3 plus 5 is 8. I have 8 log 2 to base 4, then minus 1 log 2 to base 4. 8 minus 1 is 7. I have 7 log 2 to base 4. But log 2 to base 4 is half. Now, x log 2 to base 4 be equal to s. If log 2 to base 4 is equal to s, we can express it in index form. That means 4 to the power of x is equal to 2. Expressing 4 to the power of s in index form, that is 2 to the power of 2s, equal to 2 to the power of 1. The bases are the same. Equate the powers. That means 2s is equal to 1. Hence, s is equal to 1 over 2. Meaning log 2 to base 4 is 1 over 2. That means we will have 7 multiplied by 1 over 2 here. And 2 here, 1, 2 here, 3.5. With 3 and the help. That is now for question number 2. And let's move on to question number 3. Question number three say log root 125 to base 5. Let's do it here. Log square root of 125 to base 5. Recall that the square root of a number a, for example, can also be written as a to the power of half. So this square root, I'm going to write it as log. 125 to the power of half and to base 5. Expressing 125 in index form, that will be 5 to the power of 3. 5 to the power of 3, then to the power of this half house and to base 5. And applying the law of indices, a to the power of m to the power of n is a to the power of m times n. So if I apply it here, that will be 3 times half, which is 3 over 2. 
when this becomes log 5 to the power of 3 over 2 to base 5. And then applying that log, that's a log p to the power of n to base a is n log p to base a. If I apply it here, that means I'll have 3 over 2 log 5 to base 5. And log 5 to base 5 is 1. I have 3 over 2 multiplied by 1, which is 3 over 2. That is that for question number 3. And question number 4, we have log 81 by root 81 to base 3. Log square root of 81 to base 3. Again, square root of 81 can be written as 81 to the power of 2 and to base 3. And 81 can be written as 3 to the power of 4. Then to the power of this half here, then to base 3, which is log 3 to the power 4 times half, 2 here 1, 2 here 2, will be 3 to the power of 2, then to base 3 which is 2 log 3 to base 3 and log 3 to base 3 is 1 half 2 times 1 which is 2 and the last but not the least log root 8 to base 2 plus log root 3 to base 3 log root 8 log of root 8 to base 2 plus log of root 3 to base 3. And that was the question with a to base 2 and with 3 to base 3. Okay? This root 8, you can write it as 8 to the power of n to base 2 plus log again 3 to the power of to base 3, which is log expressing 8 in index on that is 2 to the power of 3, then to the power of this half, plus log 3 to the power of half to base 3, and 3 times half is 3 over 2, I have log 3 uh, 2 to the power of 3 over 2 to base, I forgot to put the base here, which is 2 plus log 3 to the power of half to base 3, which is applying the law that we talked about earlier, log b to power n to base a is n log b to base a. If I apply it here, this will be 3 over 2 log 2 to base 2 plus half this half here log 3 to base 3. And then log 2 to base 2 is 1. 1 times 3 over 2. Again, log 3 to base 3 is also 1 there. I have 1 over 2 times 1, which is 3 over 2, plus 1 over 2. The numerators and uh, the denominators are the same, so we can add the numerator. 3 plus 1 over 2, which is 4 over 2, and that is 2. So that is how to simplify log reading on this form. I hope you found the video useful. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I release a new video like this. Thank you.